hello students i am arun i am your teacher for maths so our first chapter starts with integers before starting our integers we must know some rules and laws on integers let's go to the next slide so that we can able to understand about integers we are going to the next slide so this slide shows you the definition of integers what is integers and how it performs so 1 2 3 we know 1 2 3 for all are natural numbers and all natural numbers together with zero are called a whole numbers all natural numbers along with negative counting numbers and zero are integers so examples are minus 3 minus 2 4 0 etc these are called all integers so we got a positive integers as 1 2 3 Negative integers as minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. Zero is neither a positive nor a negative integer. So zero is called a whole number. Next, we go to the next slide. So I have told you already that there are some rules and laws which uh, is abide by these integers. So when going through integers, we must know about these rules and laws. So number one, rule number one is if two positive or negative integers are added, then the result is the sum of the numbers with their common sign at the beginning. And the second rule is to add positive and negative integers. Find the difference between these integers and at the beginning sign of the integer with a greater value is placed. So this will be explained by better examples when we go to the exercise. So before going to exercise, we must know about these properties of addition of integers. Closure property: the sum of two integers is always an integer. And commutative law of addition: if a and b are two integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. Let's go to the next slide. Properties of addition of integers. associative law of addition if a b c are three integers then within bracket a plus b plus c is equal to a plus within bracket b plus c bracket close existence of additive identity for any integer a we have a plus 0 equal to 0 plus a which is equal to a here 0 is the additive identity existence of additive inverse for any integer a we have a plus within bracket minus a bracket close is equal to minus a within bracket plus a which is equal to 0 so additive inverse of a is minus a and additive inverse of minus a is a so this is the slide for this properties of addition of integers we are going to the next slides next slide says subtraction of integers till now we have explained about addition of integers here subtraction of integers what it says let us explain for any integers a and b we have a minus b is equal to a plus additive inverse of b which is equal to a plus within bracket minus b and a minus within bracket minus b is equal to a plus additive inverse of minus b which is equal to a plus b so properties of subtraction of integers if a and b are any two integers then a minus b is always an integer commutative law subtraction of integers do not satisfy commutative law a minus b is not equal to b minus a and associative law subtraction of integers do not satisfy associative law within bracket a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus within bracket b minus c we'll explain with all those examples in the next slides next go to the next slides we are coming to exercise 1a evaluate minus 32 plus 47 so you have to give first 47 and then minus 32 with a positive sign 15 similarly 53 plus minus of 26 53 minus 26 comes out to 27 going to the next slide exercise 1a continued find the sum of 1005 plus minus 277 so these are a bit um, easy questions which has been answered 2 uh, 3 and 4 0 4 uh, question number 5 you can see 0 minus 3 1 8 it should be minus 3 1 8 that minus is missing here so please correct it students 
sum of minus 1, 0, 3, 2 and 878 is equal to minus of 1, 0, 3, 2 plus 878. It comes up to minus 1, 154. Similarly, uh, question number 6 and 7 has been answered. Then exercise 1 continues 8, 9, 12, 8, 10, 12 and 14. So 8 is the associative property. A plus B within bracket plus C is equal to a plus B plus C which is coming minus 9 which satisfies associative property. So since the answers are minus 9 in A plus B plus C and A plus within bracket B plus C both are coming minus 9. Next is you have to find out the value of integer A. Let the other integer be A then 53 plus A is equal to minus 16. So it comes out to be this and then 14 also we have solved. Now, let us go to the next slide. Multiplication. Till now we have done addition and subtraction of integers. Now the next chapter is multiplication of integers. Properties of multiplication of integers. Closer property a into b is equal to ab 35. 7 into 5 is 35. Commutative law of multiplication already explained. Associative law of multiplication. 3 into minus 5 into minus 8, it comes out to be 120. Distributive law of multiplication over addition, a into b plus c, which is equal to a into b plus a into c. Next is properties of multiplication. Existence of multiplication identity, a into 1, which is equal to 1 into a, which is equal to a. And 1 is called multiplication identity for integers. Existence of multiplicative inverse of a is 1 by a as a into 1 by a which is equal to 1. So properties of 0 anything multiplied by 0 is always comes to be 0. So please do remember anything multiplied by 0 is always 0. We are going to the next slide. So exercise 1b one, one we have solved some of the exam some of the exercise we have solved multiply number 1 multiply uh, question number 6 and 10 we have already solved similarly others also you have to solve on your own, own at home find the products also given all these question number 3 is also there 4 5 8 and 10 so 4 5 8 and 10 since all negative integers is even the answer is also even for question number 3 and question number 3 1 3 6 says, says since all are negative product will also be since all are negative product will also be negative for question number 3 6 similarly for question number 4 simplify here you see a into c plus a, a into b plus a into c which comes out to be a into b plus c so a is here minus 16 b is minus 15 plus c is minus 5 so after multiplication it comes out to be 320 similarly 8 is also done like that 4 8 next go to the next slide exercise continues question number 8 we have 5 marks for correct answers and minus 2 for correct incorrect answers so Ravi, Ravi score 5 correct answers so 4 into 5 uh, 4 correct answers so 4 into 5 plus 6 incorrect answers 6 into minus 2 it comes up to be 8 so Ravi score is 8 the new score 5 correct answers and 5 incorrect answers. The 5 correct answers is 5 into 5, 25 plus 5 into minus 2 is 10. So 25 minus 10 is 15. HEMA score is 2 into 5 plus 5 into 2. So this comes out to be 0. That is 2 correct answers and 5 incorrect answers. That's why she got 0, which is not good actually. Next, come to the next slide. Division of integers. Division of integers is very important, not associative. A divide B divide C, which is not equal to A divide B divide C, which is not associated, associative. So exercise 1C, we can go divide minus 84 by minus 12. You have to put by minus 12, 7, 12, 20, 84. So here minus will be carrying minus 7, minus 36 by minus 1. Minus 36 by minus 1 is comes out to be 36. This 2 minus will be cancelled from numerator and denominator. Similarly, fill in the blanks. When you do the fill in the blanks, you have to take the number as x. So 72 divided by x is which is equal to minus 4, which implies x is equal to minus 18. Similarly, the other questions also you have to solve at home. Next slide. 
Before uh, exercise 1D, we have seen that there are all objective type questions. Please try it at home and let me know if you find any difficulties. Thank you.